please welcome Alexia to the stage. Thank you, Rodan. Wow, what an introduction. And what a pleasure to stand before you all tonight. It's in moments like this that I often like to remind myself how we all kind of got here and why we do what we do. Now, my story with the whole Zali climate actions thing all started about six years ago in the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. Now, I was having a great time. I was ready to dive into the water. I was ready to see what the guidebooks had described as an underwater marvel and what Jacques Cousteau himself had described as the world's aquarium. Instead, when I dove in, what I, dis what I discovered was white, stark white. No coral, no myriad of colours that the guidebook promised. No fish, no starfish, absolutely nothing. Every last coral was dead and bleached. Of course I knew about climate change. That's what all the geography teachers would talk about in their PowerPoint presentations. I'd seen the statistics, I thought, oh yeah, whatever. That's that thing I learned about at school. But here I saw it firsthand, in front of my eyes and in a place that I hold most dear, in the ocean. And so after that happened, an inbox came, an email came into my inbox. It was from the Australian Youth Climate Coalition. And when it happened, I knew it was a call to action. I told myself, I can't sit here and feel powerless anymore. I've, I've got to get out there and actually do something. So I decided I would sign myself up for the Student Climate Leadership Program. And pretty much everything snowballed from there. Before I knew it, I was in this community of environmentally conscious people. I discovered I actually wasn't the only one feeling this deep concern and dread for the future of the planet. There were thousands of us all over the country doing our best to stop this horrible train that had been set into motion. The helplessness I felt had actually been transformed into a passion. Before I knew it, I was speaking at climate rallies. I was meeting with local politicians even facing the ex-Prime Minister, giving press conferences, being interviewed by newspapers, and even striking in the lobby of Parliament House. Now, amongst all of this, my dear mum got involved, <laughs> and she told me, Alexia, I'm sick and tired of being represented by someone who does not respect me or the values of this community. And so, we got to work. We joined with all the wonderful grassroots groups in this area, some of whom I'm sure you've heard from. Already we've heard Daniel down here, which is great. And when Zali stepped forward, we knew we'd found the one. She was confident, she's intelligent, she's understanding, and she's widely loved by all those around her. My perception was only heightened when I had the opportunity to shadow her in Parliament last year. I could feel how dedicated she was to her role, how meticulous she was in her preparation, and how fiercely she cared for this community. I'm so proud to have somebody like that advocating for our community at the highest level. Now, as we stand at the precipice of an election, I'm deeply inspired to know that Zali is running alongside 31 other female candidates in this election. Alongside that, climate action is at the forefront of the political agenda, as we've just seen with the PEP 11 decision, which is great news. And I'd say the Australian people are ready for honourable politics. Now into the future, as a young person, I have a lot of things to look forward to. And most notably, I'm going to be casting my first vote. So... <laughs> I'm very grateful and very excited to be playing part in this representative democracy that I've heard so much about and I feel we're constantly talking about and now I finally get the chance to be a part of it. I'm, um, I'm looking forward to seeing integrity in politics and leaders that I'm proud of and that I admire. I'm looking forward to seeing other intelligent, self-assured, compassionate women in decision-making roles. I'm looking forward to taking charge on the most important issue of our era, climate change. And alongside that, I look forward to swimming in bright, beautiful corals my whole life, knowing that I've helped build a safer, happier future for next generations. As I look out amongst you tonight, 
I'm grateful to be surrounded by people that believe in this vision just as much as I do. And I'm grateful to the woman who's made this all possible. Thank you, Zali.